So welcome to our, our, our second video on geometry for the Praxis exam. This is for the, the Praxis, I think the 0061 math content exam. In this question, they ask for the volume of, of a right hexagonal prism that is 30 centimeters in height and whose bases are reg regular hexagons that are, that are 6 centimeters on a side. So we should remember that in general, the volume of a right prism. So, you know, a, a prism where we have a base on the bottom. It could be, you know, anything, a triangle or a square or a hexagon. And then we have we have the, the lateral surface coming up here at a right angle to that base. So it's not skewed in any way, so these are right angles here. And, and what that means is you could take the area of the base and multiply it by the height. So the volume of, 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 all right, of all right prisms is just the, the area of the base times the height, which is nice because we don't need to memorize any formulas for all the different prisms. We can just remember that um, we're, we're finding volume by stacking layers, so find the area of the base and then times that by the height. So in this problem, we're given the height. The height is 30 centimeters. And we're given the shape of the base, so we've got to find the area of the base. And that base is a hexagon. So we don't know what that is, but we can find that. A hexagon um, is a, is a six-sided polygon, so one, two, three, four, five, six. That's my, my drawing of a hexagon. And actually, we should I should have been much more careful, but whatever. Um, I'm a little tired right now. We have the hexagon set up, or it should be set up in a way so that every side is exactly the same. And it's a regular hexagon, so this is 6 centimeters, this is 6, this is 6, and this is all the way around 6 centimeters. So how do we find the area of the shape? Well, we have these triangles, right? We have 6 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So all we have to do is, is find the area of one of these triangles and then and then multiply it by 6 and we've got the area of the base and we can multiply that by the height to find the, the total area. So how do we do that? Well, let's let's just pull out triangle number 5 down here. I'm going to draw it on a larger scale. I should fix that. Um, these triangles in, in the regular hexagon, right, if we, if we know that on the hexagon every side is 6, then if we draw these lines across, we still, what we really have is an equilateral triangle. Oops, my program quit there. Let me relaunch it. Um, all right, no big deal. We have regular equilateral triangles along the bottom. Oops, that's too bulky. Let me just move this over here. And so if every side is 6, right, I'm just going to go back and say what I said again, it's every side 6 on the, the, the hexagon. So if we draw these lines across, like I just drew, I'll just sketch them out again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Those lines I was drawing across here that form the triangles, right, they're also, I think, it looks like angle bisectors, so when they meet here in the middle, right, what we're really going to end up having is a bunch of sides that are also equal. And these sides will, will equal what? Well, they'll, they'll have to equal these lengths right here. So these are all equilateral triangles. So now we know that, we can drop these perpendiculars down and use that and the Pythagorean theorem to figure out this right triangle to figure out, use that Pythagorean theorem to figure out how tall is this height. Because remember, the area of a, of a triangle is just base times height divided by 2. We're going to find one triangle, multiply it by 6, that's the area of our base, multiply that by our height, and we've got the volume. So how do we do that? Well, this, how long is this? Well, we dropped this line down here, which cut the, this whole length of 6 in half. So that means this is, this is 3. This is our unknown leg right here, because our, this is our right, ang right angle. Our hypotenuse is 6, so we have 3 squared plus something squared is 6 squared. 
So that's that's 9 plus b squared is 36. So 36 minus 9 is 27. b equals the square root of 27. And 27 is 9 times 3. So it's the square root of 9 times 3, which equals, well, 9 is a perfect square. We pull it out of the, the radical. It's 3, and we get 3 square root of 3. That's the height of the triangle. So to find the area we take the, of this equilateral triangle, we take the full base of 6 times the height, right, times 3 radical 3, and then divide it by 2. So 6 times 3 radical 3 is 18 radical 3, divided by 2 is 9 radical 3. So the area of one triangle is 9 radical 3 times 6, well all 6 triangles is it's 54 radical 3. And that's this part of the equation. We found the one triangle times six. And now we multiply that by the height. And, and the height was 30, I think. So to do that, we do, we can, we have a calculator, right? Four, 54 times 30, which is 1,620. So this is 1,620, right? Radical three. So times the square root of three. And we get our answer, which is, I'm going to write it over here, 2,805.922, so forth. So, and this is, I, don't, I can't remember the units or which choice this was, but this would be in cubic units. And you would round this maybe if the choice was 2,806, you'd pick that one um, as it is the nearest whole number. All right, thanks.